liberal democracy is not working for us. And that's why we are two days in. The vote doesn't come today in Nigeria. Don't you see that? And unless you see this, and I mean that, I am not going to vote in Nigeria again. Unless things change. Because they will say, say, it doesn't matter what you as your vote. It doesn't matter your number. You write me. The people. And they say go to court. And then you are not sure you are going to get your people to the court. So what are you voting for? What democracy are you talking about? So if you are still in that form, then you would not be. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo seems not to be relenting in his attack on the current administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, especially the INEC. Obasanjo has said that INEC chairman should be sacked for the role he played in the 2023 general election. He described the election as a monumental failure that fails to meet the expectation and aspiration of Nigerians. The presidency, in a bid to refute Obasanjo's claim, has come out to criticize Obasanjo for being one of the worst presidents in the history of this country. And of course, you can call Obasanjo whatever you want to call him, but calling him the worst president in the history of this country is out of it. Obasanjo still remains the best president in the Fourth Republic. Yeah, you might cite his high-handedness, the way elections were being conducted during Obasanjo's tenure. That was not the best way of conducting election. You can also talk about the way he tried to control the National Assembly, but he did not control the National Assembly. You can also talk about the way election results were being written and how people were being selected as winner of the elections. You can talk about all of that, but when it comes about delivering on key economic policies, making the life of Nigeria better and easier, improving the quality of life of Nigerians, defending Nigerian democracy, making Nigeria more secure, improving our security forces and otherwise, Obasanjo stand tall among all his successors. The worst person to criticize Olusegun Obasanjo is Bola Metinibu because on his own he's a colossal failure. Obasanjo is not even detailed with their criticism. He has come out again to talk about Tinibu capturing Nigeria. In the clip you just watched, he talked about him not going out to vote until something is done with our electoral reforms. I know because of his antecedent with election, you may try to dismiss whatever thing he's saying. The truth of the matter is, Nigerian political and electoral system have long been riddled with challenges, from allegation of rigged election to institutional failure that undermine public confidence. But despite all of this, Nigerians have consistently demonstrated resilience and determination in their quest for better future. They've always gone out to vote in every election cycle. For instance, the 2027 general election conducted under the leadership of then-president Olusegun Obasanjo and was overseen by the Independent National Electoral Commission under Maurice Iwu stand out as one of the most controversial in Nigeria's history. Despite billions of naira being spent and promises for a more transparent and fair election, the elections were widely criticized for being riddled with irregularities, disenfranchisement and logistical failures. The 2007 election produced Umaru Musaya Radua as a president. He even admitted that the election was rigged in his favor. And he vowed to reform the electoral system. Despite all of this, it did not deter Nigerians from going out to vote. We saw how Nigerians came out overwhelmingly to vote in the 2011 general election that produced Gulok Ebele Jonathan as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The 2011 general election was seen as the most fair and transparent election in the history of this country. It was seen as the most peaceful election in the history of this country, though the post-election violence wanted to mar the peaceful conduct of that election. The 2015 election was criticized. It was real, to the point that a Kanu State Electoral Commissioner was set ablaze because he refused to announce the true results that was voted in by the people. But that did not stop Nigerians from coming out to vote in the 2019 general election. The 2023 election was even worse because with a lot of electoral reforms like the electronic transmission of results, Nigerians were even more eager to vote in that election. 
The electoral reform by President Muhammad Buhari preceding that election coupled with the billions of naira that was spent and the promise of INEC to conduct free, fair, transparent election and also to display the election result in real time boosted the confidence of Nigerians to come out and vote on the day of the election. Many Nigerians took it upon themselves to sensitize people on the need to come out to vote for the election. They even went as far as registering people for their PVC, encouraging people to go and collect their PVC. It was really an election that was most talked about. But however, on the day of the election, INEC reneged on their promises. They colluded with the ruling party or progressive congress to ensure that they switch off the IRF. Switching off the IRF broke the spirit of many Nigerians. They now saw the election result as being manipulated. So many Nigerians were disoriented and they have vowed never to go out again to vote. You have seen that the off-season election have been conducted in Kogi, Edo and Ondo state has really shown that Nigerians are really disoriented with the electoral system in this country. They do not believe in a free and fair election and many people are not willing to go out again to vote in any subsequent election. You need to understand that this is what the politicians want. They want you to be disoriented. They don't want you to come out again to vote. Because whenever you vote, you will not vote for them. They know that they do not represent you, your aspiration and hope, and you will never select them as your leader. So they are doing everything possible to make you not to be interested in any subsequent election. But you need to understand that whether you come out to vote or not, result will be announced. And if you do not come out to vote against these people, they will keep announcing themselves as winner of any election they participate. So all these election malpractices we are experiencing in this country is a deliberate attempt to frustrate you not to involve yourself in subsequent election. You must not give in to their whims and caprices. Obama is asking for an electoral reform. Asking for an electoral reform is good, but electoral reform will not solve the issue we have in this country. For instance, in 2023, there was an electoral reform. If that electoral reform was fully implemented, it would have solved the issue we have in election malpractice in this country. But you saw how INEC and other organizations involved in election colluded with the ruling of Progressive Congress to rig the election. While we are also calling for electoral reform, we should also call for a new system of government. For instance, the last election that produced Bola Metinibu as president will not have produced him as president in a parliamentary system of government. In a parliamentary system of government, you need the opposition to form your government. Bola Metinibu has the highest vote cast in that election, 8 million plus vote, but he is not the people's popular choice when you add Mr. Pitobi's vote and Atiku Abubakar's vote. In a parliamentary system of government, Bola Metinibu would not have been elected as the president. It is also important to note that having a free and fair election extends beyond the election days. Most Nigerians only consign themselves during the day of election. Majority of Nigerians are not even concerned about the process leading to the election. The outcome of the 2023 general election should have been our most pressing issue. It should have been the most talked about issue on our public space. Efforts should be geared towards sensitizing the people to select their leaders based on competence, character they can trust, antecedent, rather than based on tribalism, ethnicity and religion. Voters' education should be prioritized. Citizens should be encouraged to pick up their PVCs as at when due. Rather than discouraging Nigerians from coming out to vote, Nigerians should be encouraged to come out to vote. For instance, in the 2023 general election, INEC announced over 90 million PVC holders, but only 20 million persons voted in the 2023 election. That is just 22% of people came out to vote. This is a very low turnout and it should not be encouraged. If let's say 60% of Nigerians came out to vote in that election and they vote overwhelmingly for Mr. Pitobi, it would have been very, very difficult for INEC to rig the election for Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Why we keep pushing for electoral reforms, we should not give riggers opportunity to keep rigging because if we allow this election for them, they will keep announcing themselves as winner of the election that did not take place. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.